Hi, today in this video today, I'm going to show you how to make custom shaders in HLSL that have the universal render pipeline lighting included. If you're trying to write custom shaders for the universal render pipeline in Unity, you might have looked at this tutorial for writing a basic shader. Unfortunately, this only includes how to make an unlit shader and doesn't show you how to make the how to add the universal render pipeline lighting which is what a majority of people need to do when they make custom shaders. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all we need to fork the universal render pipelines lit shader. So if you go to the folder of the universal render pipeline here you'll want to go to shaders and you'll find the lit dot shader here. So now if you copy this into our assets folder and now if we open this, we can rename it in here to custom lit. What you'll end up finding in here isn't actually the code for the lighting or any of the stuff, but including HLSL files that have the lighting. So what we actually need to do is we need to go and find these files. Just generally, I like to take all of these forward passes, shadow caster pass, each of the main pass files and just paste these in here so I can customize whatever part I want. So to do this we need to go through and we need to open up each of these files. We will start with the lit forward pass. If you copy all of this and replace the include lit forward pass with the copied code and save this this now gives us our code that we can modify to make a custom shader. Here you'll notice the shader won't compile. It says failed to open source file lit input data HLSL. This is because the input is no longer local to the universal render pipeline package. And now you'll see that our shader compiles. Just to show that it's a custom shader, uh, I'm just going to tint the color red. So now if we apply our custom shader to this sphere, you can see our custom lit shader is now here. You'll see that it tints it red. There you go. We've now created a custom shader. But there are some other issues we will run into, and I'm going to talk about how to fix those right now. One immediate thing is that when you are writing custom shaders, you generally want custom properties, like up here. You can see I've just made a plain custom property and if you go and you look at the material here you'll notice that our custom property doesn't actually show up. Um, the way to make it show up is go here from normal to debug and if you go down saved properties and floats you will be able to see here underscore second prop and if you want to change what it is you can change the value here to whatever you want. Um, some tutorials or some answers on the Unity forums suggest that you go down here and you remove the custom editor for lit shader. Uh, this I don't suggest doing this because you'll notice here it will give you an error well not necessarily an error normal map shader without a normal map the custom editor toggles these shader features like normal map. So if you don't use the custom editor, it will technically make your shader less efficient if you're not using features like normal maps because the custom editor won't be toggling those features on and off. So that's why I really suggest keeping the custom editor and just editing those through the debug menu. And a lot of people don't know about this debug, debug menu, but you can change options like Z writing there's all these other passes that I've scrolled through here. We have just modified the lit forward pass, but there's actually three other passes as well. There's the shadow caster pass, there's the depth only pass, and the meta lit pass, as well as the universal 2D pass, which we don't need to worry about. To show you why you would need to set why you would need to add your custom shader code to the shadow caster pass we need to add something like a vertex modification. So here I've added some code that adds a waving vertex distortion. And now if you look at the shader, 
you'll notice that it create, makes the sphere completely black. And you can see if you disable shadows, it displays properly and isn't all black. The reason for this is because the shadows, if you'll see, aren't waving or distorted at all. The shadows are still rendering the plain undistorted sphere. This is because our code is only applying to the lit forward pass and the shadow caster and the depth only pass don't include any of our modifications. So if we want our modifications to apply to shadows, we now also need to copy this shadow caster pass code and ideally the depth only pass as well. So we're going to do that now. It's the same method as the lit forward pass. We copy the shader code. Take the shadow caster pass, copy that. So if we copy our distortion, now you can see with our code applied to the shadow caster pass, our shadow is now distorted and our sphere isn't all black. There you go. So ideally, you do also want to apply this to depth only and the lit meta. Uh, depth only is used for shadows on some platforms, so we do want to set this as well. Same method of just copying the depth only pass shader and replacing this include with depth only pass. It isn't called position in this version. So th this is a thing to note for. There are tiny changes between the depth only and shadow caster passes and the lit meta pass. There we go. So the lit meta pass, this is needed if you're going to use Unity's progressive light mapper. If you did generate lighting with the progressive light mapper without applying your changes to the lit meta pass, it wouldn't reflect the red in the global illumination. Uh, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to do all these things in custom shaders in the universal render pipeline. I hope other people don't have to go through all the issues I ran into. Thank you for watching. I, I hope this tutorial helped you.